Hi, Ranger Kyle here. Ida B. Wells is best known as a journalist and publisher. She risked her own life traveling the South gathering information on lynchings. One of her editorials upset people so much that an angry mob stormed her newspaper office and destroyed her equipment. Well, we was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for her brave reporting. Hi everyone, I'm Maria, the park's 19th Amendment CRDIP intern. In 1893, Chicago hosted the World's Fair, which banned African American exhibitors. Wells and other social reformers created and distributed a pamphlet which educated readers on the achievements of Black Americans post-emancipation and educated international readers about the dangers that Black Americans continued to face in the United States nearly 30 years after the end of the Civil War. This pamphlet directly refuted many of the racial stereotypes that were seen throughout the fair. Wells was a teacher in a segregated school and she was fired for criticizing their poor condition. In the 1880s, Ida B. Wells challenged a Tennessee railroad law prohibiting black women from riding in the first class ladies' car. She refused to move from her seat and fought back when the conductor tried to forcibly remove her. She sued the railroad and initially won her case, but the decision was overturned by the Tennessee Supreme Court. When thinking about Ida B. Wells Burnett, one story that comes to mind is in 1896, when the Republican Women's State Central Committee wanted her to campaign for them in Illinois. Wells Burnett at the time had a six-month-old at home and needed to figure out how to balance motherhood and career. She will ask the committee then for a nurse to travel with her. Unfortunately, they were unable to provide a nurse, but were able to set up a network of volunteers, allowing Ida B. Wells Burnett to hit the campaign trail for them. Later on, Ida B. Wells Burnett will write in her autobiography, I honestly believe that I'm the only woman in the United States who ever traveled throughout the country with a nursing baby to make political speeches. Ida B. Wells Barnett co-founded the Alpha Suffrage Club in 1913 in Chicago. Its goals were to educate Black women on citizenship and voting, to increase their political influence, and to support suffrage for all women, regardless of race. The club canvassed block by block and added thousands of new female voters, shaping Chicago politics. 